All right, so let's go over how to trade um, using a smaller, using a larger Renko size chart and trading off a smaller Renko. Uh, like I said, we've been getting a really, really a lot of positive feedback in multiple markets with uh, members that trade the S&P and members outside the room that trade all these different multiple markets. We, we got traders trading various different markets. The S&P obviously is in the room, but uh, we're talking about crude oil, gold, traders trade gold. Uh, the DAX, uh, we got the Dow, Russell 2000, the RTY. I mean, we're getting a lot of positive feedback. This setup works on all markets. So let's take a look about at it and how we, how we can do it. So uh, are the, the two charts we show in the room, and these workspaces are on the members download page where this workspace is uh, available for you. But you, this is a, a, the UNI Rinko 12020 on this side, on the left side. This is going to show us the trend. So this is our 120. And this is our trend, our trend chart showing strength or weakness. So once we see weakness or strength in the market, that's going to allow us to go down to a smaller Renko size to fire in some trades with smaller stops. So how do we find the trend first? Well, our our Zones have been tested for over the last 30 years, okay, and these are the best zones based upon the S&P we're testing. So our zones have to be green if we're buying, and it has to be red if we're selling if we want to go with overall trend strength. So the zones are green on this example here at the close yesterday. Remember, I like taking the close all the way up to around 6. I talked about this yesterday, 610 to 6.15, right around 6.15, or what should be, I'm sorry, 415 Eastern, uh, that, that's when it likes to really show some, um, uh, that 10 to 4 to 10 after 4, 15 after 4, you get a nice little strong push in the market on the S&P. So that's when a lot of algorithms like to push it. So if you see that the zones are green, we're looking to buy. But this oscillator below can help you out also. If this oscillator is pegged on the 120, Okay, if it's pegged and we're at uh, 123.81 and it's pegged at that level and it's not retracing at that level at all, it's just pegged at that level, meaning it's at that level and staying at that level the whole time. And you can see that the uh, 120 had no buy setups between this, I call it, window of opportunity. So I'm going to show you examples of yesterday too, how you can extract ticks like this. And uh, Leo, um, good job yesterday. I mean, Leo was talking about how he likes to set up also, and he captured some ticks yesterday utilizing this technique. Um, but if you look at, um, this is a window of opportunity between here off the larger Renko size. Why do I call this a window of opportunity? This is a window of opportunity because you have strength on the oscillator below, but you have, look at your zone. Your zones are green, right? And you are pegged. Our, our zones are green saying we're looking for a buy setup. But look at the strength of the market. The strength of the market is pegged at 123.81. We are pegged straight up. So we're looking to what? Buy retracements in this window of opportunity. So and let's mark this up at 1602.38. And that's just an example. You can this this you get about three or four setups like this during the day. So you can have patience to wait for this to line up. So let's go at 1602.38 which is here, and then the window of opportunity closes when the oscillator starts retracing at 1605, 43, 1605, let's get this down, 1605.43 goes all the way over, keep going it's still further, Sixteen oh five forty three. There we go. So between this, this is your window of opportunity. Now, 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 take a look at this. If you can understand this, the tr the feedback I'm getting for the traders uh, when I introduce this technique it, uh, to out to everybody with the videos I've been doing, um, we have a live video at daytradingthefutures.com that goes over exactly this setup. So if you want to see how a how the setup works live before it happens, we actually recorded it. Just go to daytradingthefutures.com, 
and then click recent videos and once you go down to it you can see you can see how you can trade those uh, markets before they even occur so um, just play that video right here it says go over to live video where's it at right here how to spot zone breaks before they occur live setup of, of a 10 point drop so play that video and I walked through it for about 15 minutes before the market dropped 10 points and what I did is I used the 120 in the room live last Friday and then we entered off of the 110 so replay that video it's on uh, 4 12 24 how to spot zone breaks before they occur live setup 10 point drop if you want to fast forward go to five minutes left in the video and I go over these two charts as they are happening before these setups like this occur so then you can watch live market price action and I walk you through it I talk you through it before it even happens and that will get you your mind right and it'll get you in the right state of mind on how you want to trade the setup so this is the 120 trend chart showing strength or weakness so it's showing strength and the one thing with showing strength is that we want to go over here and then check into the 110 when you're looking for 110 entries these yellow um, what's called zone breaks will come up these are called zone breaks will come up automatically at the close of the bar and they'll turn yellow so you can see we had one two three four five six seven eight nine chances of taking these zone breaks to the upside in this window of opportunity off the 120 because remember this is a 110 so your your stops are smaller because there's 10 ticks in between these Rinko sizes from the high and low of the bar so you have a much smaller stop but look at the opportunity this started at around 50 99 and 25 so 5100 and it got as high as 5131 30 s p points in this window of opportunity 30 s p points that's 120 ticks 120 ticks potential on a 10 tick Rinko size bar now this happens like this on a day-to-day -day, week to week basis the beautiful thing about using this technique is that not only and that's why I said go to our website and play this video how to spot zone breaks before they occur this live setup look how this gave us a 15 minute heads up before some before that big drop even happened like this on this big run so you get a major heads up so what we do is we like to look for this to gain strength our larger Renko size gain strength get pegged in a strong market our zone that we tested for over 30 years we know that's getting us in the right trend so now we just got to look for the zone breaks which gives the breaking point in the market because where traders tend to fail and when I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas trade show there's over 6,000 traders over there and the majority of traders I talked to when I was a guest speaker over there a lot of indicators out there counter trend trade the market and the majority of indicators that they show over there and these different platforms and all these indicators they counter trend trade the market so what why does this work so well then on this 30 point move at the close yesterday because what happens is when you get all these indicators and all these traders out there that show they're selling divergence or they're selling a pivot level s1 r1 you know are they are they showing selling divergence or they're doing you know Fibonacci levels at 62% which I love 62% retracements and stuff like that with trend but against trend they just get ran over and so what this does it's a self really generating trade because what happens is all these buy all these shorts when you see these red little pullbacks those are counter trend traders so these are counter trend traders that are just getting wiped out on every trade because all these oscillators even this oscillator below, if you try to trade this oscillator because it's overbought, which traders try to do, you're going to get taken out because the smart money is buying high and selling higher. So you're buying high here, but you're selling higher. You're buying high here, but you're selling higher. You're buying high here and sell higher. So a lot of traders can't wrap their mind around that. What they're conditioned to do 
and all the books and the trading books and, the, and your mind's conditioned to do is we want to buy low and sell high or we want to sell high and buy low. Well, it's impossible because what you're trying to do is you're trying to outsmart the market. You don't want to outsmart the market. Nobody's smarter than the market, what right? Order so submitted. The, the market is its own little beast and what you got to do is you have to or, get order canceled. what the market gives you. You can't take from the market. You have to give what it's giving you. Well, it's giving you the trend with these with these indicators. This indicator saying, hey, we're blasting to the upside. We have major strength in the market. We know that the majority of indicators out there, and we know the majority of traders like to counter trend trade the market. So the let's feed off submitted. their order flow. Let's buy high on these breakouts and sell higher. Right? And that's how you can trade off the 120 and the 110. If I break this down into 110 of opportunity, these setups are really easy to see because what happens is is that this is where it started. There's your yellow pulling bar. So your stop placement can be below the swing of this bar, swing of this candle, right? So when you can see when the setup is coming up, it gives you a big heads up because once it starts retracing, if you are pegged over here on the 120, once you start seeing a retracement, you start seeing these horizontal dots start printing on the 110. They're printing, print, 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 print. So you get a big heads up. This heads up is telling us that once we close two candles outside of these horizontal dots, it's called a cup and handle. Cup and handles are one of the one of the most uh, accurate formations that there that there is in trading with trend. Cup and handles are beautiful, beautiful setups. So that what these zone breakouts are are essentially a cup and handle because there's your cup. It looks like a cup and handle. There's your cup and handle breakout. So these cup and handles are very, very accurate. And then when they break out, if you can catch it with trend, there's your cup and handle right there. So you can see Stop when you there. get that retracement, these dots start printing. You know it heads up. And that's why I said to play that live video. Like I said, um, play this video on the live setup, right, on 412 how to spot zone breaks before they occur live set up a 10 point drop play that video because what it does it lets you see how this how my rationale of the hard trending market and how we can fire in at a smaller Rinko size and just yesterday is a 30 point run and I educate traders over and over and over and over again you're not stock traders you're futures traders so futures go over the the four o'clock level, meaning it doesn't stop when the New York closes at four o'clock Eastern. It goes all the way to six ten, six fifteen, six twenty. And we talked about this just yesterday, even before this occurred, that we see a big move. We see big moves in the in the in the futures market at these times when the algorithms start moving these markets. And that's what we had. We had a thirty point run. This is a thirty point run in this window of opportunity on a 10, 110 Renko chart with small stops. And you had all these opportunities to fire in the trade. Because right when that fires yellow, that's your entry, that's your stop below. Okay. Now if you want to do the automated trade software, how do you want to do that? You want to turn the automated trade software, let's say if you trade off the 110, you want to trade that, turn that automated software on. There's two ways to do it. You can use our automated software where you have your pre-set stop, you have your pre-set trail, right? So let's say you do one contract out to 1,000 ticks with a 23 trail, ATR trail. What it will do is it will get you in this level and it will trail that it will catch that move with your trail, right, if you turn it on. You want to turn the automated software on when you're in a stronger market like this, right? When you're in a strong market, and if that oscillator ever, so if I if I wanted to watch the 120, I could have the automated management software ready on the 110. And I want to enable it, double click and enable it, when what happens? When I get into a strong market into the ES. Because that puts me in a great opportunity on catching these. It will automatically pull you in on the automated software here. Or other traders just like using Chart Trader with their ATM trail. You can Chart Trader with that all the way up to it also. But notice the 120 chart never had any setups. It doesn't have to have setups. Why? Because it's showing you the hard push in the market. This smaller Renko chart will give you the pullbacks. 
So if you let these two line up together, get into a stronger position with the trend, and then you get into the 110 push. Now you can take it a step further and say, okay, Jay, I like the technique. Well, what's your targets? Well, that's how we use market profile. For the last two days, I've given you both the both two gap targets. And all both my gaps hit the last two days. And how do we do that? We use previous day's market profile. So what we can do is we can find gaps in the market to find out if there's any support or resistance. Because market profile over here lets us know if there's big gaps in the market. So we know today's gap is right here. I know today's gap is right here. So I'm going to set my trade setups for this gap right here off of the news, right? Off the news is coming out. So now my tradable gap is from 29 a quarter. My tradable gap is all the way up to 50. So I got a, I got another big 20-point uh, gap to the upside. If I break low value today at 41.14 and three quarters, my tradable gap is all the way down to 85. So I've got 30 points of downside, and I got all this upside to the upside also. So you can trade, you can use market profile then uh, with your overall tradable gaps to find these levels. So what we'll do this morning is, is we will wait until what? We'll wait till this market gets strong. Right now it's oscillating. So if you look at this market, it's not at 123.81, it's at 115.50. So look at this live market right now. We're trading live right now. All right, blow this up. I'm at, I'm at 11.48, I'm not trending right now. Look at this oscillator. So my oscillator on my trend chart is showing 1148. You do you do not want you do not want to trade that. Even after news here, it never got pegged at 12381. It never got pegged up here at 12381. It's not going. It's not pegged at that level right now. It's still 1148. So do we take do we take any setups off this chart over here then? No, we wait. Now what we can do is right here is a zone break at uh, 5122 and a quarter. If this starts getting pegged over here on this oscillator, we'll look for a trade. But right now, we don't trade nothing. We sit. Why? We sit here because our oscillator is not being pegged yet. Now, right now, it's at 121.41. If I get to 123.81, watch this oscillator, and it starts getting pegged, then we're going to start looking for a setup on this zone breakdown. But right now, if you look at it, it's at 121.41. So I'm not pegged. So what do you do? Let all these traders that are oscillating the market back and forth, let them battle it out. Let them battle it out until we get into a vertical market. Now I'm at 101.32. So as we start moving along, I'm at 101.32. Once I get to 123.81 and I start trending, then I can look for a trend change and we can look for maybe these gap fills to be filled. I got these gap fills here to be filled this morning. Now I'm at 123.81. So now I'm starting to trend a little bit. Now I'm trending at 123.81. Order canceled. This oscillator on the 110 doesn't mean anything because it's a smaller Ringo chart, but I'm against zone trend right now. I'm still against zone trend, so the zone's got to change. So there's still nothing to do. I want my zones to line up also. So this has to not only trend, but my zones have to match up too. You can take a counter wave if you've been outside of market profile, which I showed traders how to do that yesterday, uh, meaning you get stronger weak and then take these zone breakouts. Uh, but we don't even have a setup yet because our zone breakout is all the way down to 22 and a quarter. So what do you do? You don't do anything. So we're still sitting waiting for a setup. There's nothing to do. No setup in the market. I want to get paid. I haven't, I haven't been paid yet at all at 123.81. I'm just starting to right now, but my zone is still red. So what do we do? We got to sit. There's no trades. I have these tradable gaps over here. There's my tradable gaps to trade. I know these are my targets. Once I get into a trade off of a zone break, but until I break, until I get a zone break, my zone breaks are down here 51, 22 and a quarter, and my zone's red. But my strength is up. It's 123.81. It's going against the trend. So what do you do? Nothing. You sit and wait. Wait for it to line up. What we want to do is we want to see the market line up with our zone trend. Our zone trend is red, so this oscillator needs to get back to negative uh, 123.81 to start trending down, and then we'll look for some zone breaks to get in our automated software or we can get into the um, uh, chart trader. So we're waiting for a setup right now. We're stalking a setup. If you look at what mark, cool thing about market profile, this is where traders get whacked around a little bit, is that wicks don't count, guys. 
Look at these big wicks. That's amateur traders getting stopped out. Wicks don't count. I need the body of the candle closed on my market profile to close above it. Once a candle closes above this 120, 40, 129 a quarter, I get a whole body candle closed, meaning the open versus close. Then we should start cranking up to the upside. If it doesn't, which is not right now, this could be a high. So we're just waiting for a setup. Right now, here's our zone breakdown here, 51, 22 and a quarter. We'll start still waiting. Negative 123, 81. It's starting to trend now. Let's see if we get a possible zone break coming up. Still nothing right now, but right now we're still not outside a profile or 51, 15, 50. You want to see these zone breaks happen in this area. So when these zone breaks occur, you want them in these tradable gaps. So you want to see like yesterday in that 30-point run, you want to see zone breaks happen in this tradable gap. That's why our profiles work so well. We use two to four hour profiles. And our targets have hit, like I said, the last two days, they've hit perfectly right to our two targets. These are the tradable gaps you want to look for zone breaks. And how do I get these gaps? I just look at previous market profile on our two to four hour profiles. Look at this. That easy. I'm just profiling yesterday's profile for my gaps in the market. And so what I'll do is I will just wait until we get into a tradable gap and then we can start running. So if we were into a tradable gap, which we're not right now, um, when we're in a tradable gap, we're going to wait for a 2381, wait for this zone to break, and then we're going to look for zone breakouts. 